Hey everybody, Ryan from Advo Gadget back again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a for real unboxing. Um, I haven't even opened up the box yet. So it's going to be the Lenovo K3 Note. You see it came DHL, direct from Gearbest. Caution, lithium ion battery, dangerous, dangerous. So as you can see it came DHL, let's open it up inside. We have a quite generic box. Nothing at all to see, which is interesting. This is the first time this has happened with a package I've gotten from Gearbest. What we'll do is we shall open it up in a trusty little screwdriver here. Very well packaged, anyways. And inside, oh, you can see nice, simple brown packaging. The whole black bubble pack. Take it out. And this is a nice looking little box from Lenovo see on the back here, K3 Note, a bunch of writing that I can't really decipher, but uh, the little bits that you can pick out of here, it's a 5.5 inch 1080p screen, um, f2.0 camera, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of ROM, it says 64-bit 1.7 gigahertz processor, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, uh, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, FM, like they all have. And on here, a bunch more stuff that I can't read. No website. Not very exciting. And super plain box. Nothing too fancy. And just a few little more details there. You can steal my IMEIs now. Now let's open it up and have a look inside. Looks like it was already unsealed, um, which happens often enough when you get these phones from uh, some of these Chinese stores because usually what they'll do is they'll open it up and throw a uh, screen protector on the screen there. So. There we go, you can see it's wrapped in plastic. Ooh. I have the white model. It also comes in a crazy, crazy yellow. So, it's actually quite nice. A little speaker there, and instead of trying to fake us out and pretend like there's uh, dual speakers on the back, they've just gone and left with a single speaker port, which is nice. Um, on the side here, we've got power volume rockers as usual. Uh, down at the bottom, uh, let's see if we can brighten up our exposure a little bit. There we go. We've got home, menu, back buttons, typical to these phones. Uh, microphone on the bottom. Nothing at all on the left side. This will take some getting used to. And then up at the top, we've got a microphone port and a micro USB port. And it looks like the micro USB port is upside down compared to the uh, usual Chinese phones. They're normally uh, flipped around. So that's uh, something a little bit interesting. Let's set this down. There's a protective film on the screen here. It doesn't look like a screen protector actually, which is unusual. And then we open it up further. And inside we've got the manual, nicely packaged up, and all right, this is a warranty card, maybe? <laughs> None of it is in English, so I have no idea. And then we have another manual, and... All right, that's all in Chinese as well. So, let's fix the exposure here to get a little 
little bit easier to see, but yeah, it gives a, uh, a little bit of a definition here so I can actually see where things go. SIM 1, SIM 2, and micro SD. Uh, <laughs> the battery goes in. any of this stuff. Oh, micro USB. It'll come in handy for anybody that uh, can actually read Chinese, but it's not that useful for me. So let's set that aside. Take a peek here. We've got our battery sealed up tight. brighter here. So lithium ion, typical capacity 3000 milliamp hours, 11.4 watt hours. I don't know what titapan capacitas means but it's less. Um, doo -doo -doo. 2015-0119 date of manufacture. And then, ah, here we go, English, doi. So here we have rate of capacity, 2,900 milliamp hours, typical capacity, 3,000 milliamp hours, nominal, limited, voltage, charge, blah, blah, blah. Do not expose to high temperature that exceeds 45 Celsius, so don't bring this to Arizona. Um, don't put it in a fire, you dummy, because it's a battery, it'll explode in your face. And then we have a... Uh, Micro USB cable, which doesn't seem to be too fancy fancy. It is Lenovo branded. Poop. Lenovo CD13. But otherwise, it feels okay. It doesn't feel too uh, too cheap, but it doesn't feel too high end either. It's a micro USB cable, everyone's got them. And then, how about this? A North American charger. This is quite rare. More often than not, these chargers that show up are European chargers. So that's a nice little sign. Now, get back to the phone. Try and flip open this cover. There we go. There's a little notch. I don't know if you can see it here. I can't really. Let's try and brighten up the exposure a bit. Look, there's a tiny little notch to get your finger under the case. You pull it up, boop, boop. and this is actually similar to the uh, the Mlay's Mlay's M52 in that the uh, these buttons are actually not attached to the phone; they're part of the back case. which, I don't know, that I really agree with that as a uh, technique, because it feels like these buttons could die quite easily. Um, there's a speaker grill there. This behind the Lenovo, I really don't know what that is, because it doesn't seem to be attached to anything here. So, if we look at the back of the phone, we've got... SIM 1, SIM 2 slots, and as you can see, SIM 1 is 4G, 3G, 2G, and SIM 2 is 2G only. So if you're looking to use this as a dual 4G SIM, that's not going to work. Up here goes the uh, micro SD. Here we've got just the uh, touch points for the volume rockers and the power. Um, serial numbers up at the top we have some interesting little things here we have the speaker pretty straightforward um, this would be the antenna here 
we have a look. Oh, if maybe if we flip it around the right way, we could actually read it. Flip it over. I don't know I had it right the right time, right way before. So GPS and K50T5 is the model number, so I don't know what that other stuff says there. And then on the other side we have, because I assume these are both the antennas, H0608, yeah, I don't know what these are, just antenna model numbers, I guess. Here you see the dual LED flash, which I'm looking forward to trying out because a lot of these phones have very uh, weak powered flashes. And then the last thing that I don't really know what it is, is this guy right here. I can see a handful of pins there, but I don't know what that would be for. So I'm going to have to look that up and see what exactly it is for you guys to look at later. And under this little knobby here, I think is probably some sort of uh, port. I don't want to pull it up because I don't want to break it. But that's about it for uh, the inside of the back. Let's throw the battery in and see how much charge it actually arrived with. And the case just snaps back on pretty simply. Now this white uh, cover on the back, you can't really tell, but it's got almost like a silver pearl look to it, which is kind of nice. Um, and it doesn't leave lots of fingerprints, which is good because the, uh, the M52, which was the last phone that I looked at, really just had a smooth, shiny back, and it was just covered with fingerprints and grease all the time, and it was gross. So, <laughs> um, let's turn it on and have a look. All right, now we're gonna turn it on and have a look. For the first look, whoop, here we go, powered up. Lenovo, powered by Android. Pretty good, taking it sweet all the time. Bit of a long boot up here, but it's the first boot up. So, oh, Lenovo, for those who do. Lenovo.com. Come on. Now you can't really tell from the quality of this video, but it's a super sharp screen, which is nice at 1080p. Um, so, now if it would just continue to boot up. Um, just as a little more follow-up, um, if you're planning on use this, using this phone and camera, or in Canada, it should support Bell, Rogers, and TELUS all on uh, 3G. Um, for for LTE, it should support Bell and Rogers both. It's got a uh, 2600 megahertz frequency support. And now we take a look around. And it's taking its sweet old time to boot up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here. And then once it actually boots up, I will come back. All right, we are back. So that took about five minutes for that first boot up, which was a little bit bonkers. Um, I don't have a... Uh, SIM card in here, so I'm just going to do a quick starting setup here. Oop. Yeah, 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 I guess I have to agree to the license agreement. Lenovo promises that no matter what you do, we're not responsible for anything. Blah, 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 blah. I agree. No one ever reads that anyways, am I right? So. Let's do our setup here. Network settings, I would like my data connection enabled. Oh, I don't have a SIM card enabled in there, so I can't do that. But I can turn on my WLAN. Now I will take these up and give me one second while I connect to my wireless connection. And it 
doesn't seem to be able to see my uh, five gigahertz networks, which is interesting as I thought it had five gigahertz Wi-Fi, but maybe not. So I'll just connect it to my 2.4 gig. Okay, authenticating, authenticating. I know this is brilliant. You can look at the back while it authenticates. I don't want you guys seeing my Wi-Fi. Enhanced Experience Program. I have no idea what this is. Let's join it. And here's a little, uh, whoopsie, localization forgetfulness in the QA. Now there's a big old licensing agreement again. Interesting. This is all the stuff that the user experience improvement plan can do. Speed up your boot process. Provide you with the most popular software function experience. Enhanced GPS. Intelligent recognition. Multifaceted blah 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 blah. When you're playing games, we'll provide you with the latest game download links. Ooh. So it sounds like this might be a lot of spam. But, you know what? We'll play with it for now. And if it turns out to be super fish for uh, phones, then... It's coming off. All right, Aceptar. Next. I don't have a Lenovo ID, so I'll skip past that. Congratulations, you've completed boot configuration. Can start using your new device. And actually, I think I'm gonna leave it at that now because that was a pretty good intro. It's given everybody a sort of good feel for the phone to start and I'll do another video quickly just to go through the basic OS and how everything works and how it all looks. So thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I will have another video up for you shortly to give you a quick one run through of all the settings and all the stuff that's installed by default on the Lenovo K3 Note. Thanks again.